day four in Canada and I have this overwhelming urge to take my beloved Wisconsin cheese curds, put them over fries, douse everything in gravy and eat them. What's going on everybody? My name's Brian. You're watching Angling Anarchy. That's a little poutine reference out there for those of you that don't know. Uh, we are in Canada on Eagle Lake, musky fishing mostly. This morning though, we are out trying to catch some food. We uh, slept in a little bit, tried to get caught up so we're not killing ourselves out here. And uh, we're gonna go after a couple of uh, hopefully pike and walleyes, fill up the freezer so we have some fish fry. But then this evening, we're gonna go after muskies. And we've been doing pretty good. Had a heartbreaker last night. Jim lost a nice one uh, right at the boat. And But for the most part, we've been getting some nice fish. Trevor's got a couple of mid-40s. I've got a 47 out of 50. So we are, uh, for all intents and purposes, doing well. And uh, hope to continue that this evening. So we shall see. It's a nice walleye. You're too big, stupid. Yeah. But that's like a. <laughs> when the walleyes are too big. All right, buddy. I appreciate it and everything, but you're a slot fish, so you get to go away. Oh, you caught a perch. I did catch a perch. Wow. Way to go. <laughs> pike? Yeah. Like keep size pike? Or a walleye. Too big a walleye for our purposes. <laughs> but not a bad one. This afternoon we can go chase muskies. All right folks we are back out on the water after uh, going in cleaning fish. We caught a bunch of pike, a bunch of walleyes uh, that we're gonna have for dinners and some take-home stuff and uh, yeah we're gonna come out and try to catch a muskie now so wish us luck. We will see what we can do. We're gonna try a couple of weed spots that we saw fishing yesterday and uh, see if we can get them to go. I think there's the weeds through here that there usually is. Oh yeah, nice fish. That was like 46, 47. Um, the corn, he like he, he turned, he turned really hard right here. I did. Yeah, okay. yeah. Just he just didn't have time to yeah, come around. Done a curve. 
Yep. Oh. Yep. He wasn't super hot, but right. I mean, those nice fish. Right as I was saying, there's no weeds in here, so why would there be any fish? Fish! Might be a big pike. <laughs> it is a big pike. Well, the whole ripping a medusa through the weeds kind of worked. You gotta get this thing. There we go. All right, get the camera. <laughs> Absolutely lunched that thing. Boy, this could be interesting. But you know what? We'll just stick our hands in there and see what happens. That doesn't seem to be a problem. It's that one down there that might be the problem. There we go, easy peasy. Have those Nipex handy and just cut it. That's not a real big pike, but it's not a bad one. I'm just gonna measure it real quick out of curiosity. What do we got? It is 36. So we'll get him back. Nice healthy fish though. There he goes. All right. Um, that was like the second cast with a Medusa. We just went to a new spot, some deep weeds. Jim's throwing a bucktail. Trevor's throwing a heavyweight glide, and I got the Medusa whacked right away. Let's see if we can get a muskie to do that. Well, folks, uh, that just goes to show you either we suck, which is a very distinct possibility, or musky fishing in Canada can still be hard which is also a very distinct possibility. Maybe the two of them collided today and uh, that's why we didn't catch anything. Um, I guess I shouldn't say we didn't catch anything. We caught a bunch of pike and walleye to take home. So that was kind of fun to just bop around in the afternoon, uh, catch some of those on rattle traps and little sand grass flats and get some fish to take home. Whoa, it's not focusing on my face. <laughs> come on, keep, come on. What is going on here? Well, anyway, uh, we have to get back and uh, dump what little footage we have because I, as much as I don't like making a no musky musky fishing video, this stuff happens. And anybody that's done this long enough knows that this happens. And just because you're in Canada on a world-class body of water doesn't mean you're not gonna get skunked every once in a while. Uh, we definitely had, I had a shot fish hit a, a baby beaver. I don't think I saved the clip because there wasn't really much to see and uh, just came off. We had some nice follows. Again, they weren't up high enough. They were kind of low and slow, a lot of them today. We did get a couple of follows that are you'll probably be able to see, but uh, yeah, that's it. So we have to go back. We're gonna fish Friday night, maybe have a uh, Canadian cold brew and cold brew, that sounds like coffee. It's beer, folks. Uh, that's what we're gonna have. Um, but I appreciate every single one of you watching this mess, and I'll see you on the next video.